Welcome back to Mario Adventure. Looks like we're in for World 6 already. I guess it's Retro World, looks like. I just beat Bunny Must Die, which is a sort of frustrating game, but in a good sort of way. Oh, I lose the flower. Oh well. I sort of forget that the NES doesn't really have very much memory for keeping crap on screen. Anyway, I thought I would... I mistakenly thought I would play this to sort of relax for a bit. But, unlike Bunny West Die, I don't really give a crap about this, honestly. Well, it's not so much I don't give a crap about it, it's just I'm cheating my ass off, so... I can screw up all day long, and it doesn't really matter. So screw you, Koopa, I'm cheating. And screw you too, Goomba. Oh, and I guess it's Giant World. It's Giant Retro World. And I'm not sure why it took so long for it to register that this is Giant World. And this is obviously the first Super Mario Bros. 1 level, except that ending isn't how the regular game ended, or the regular level. And stupid ice physics. I thought we were done with you. Yeah, I can see those hidden blocks. Silly NES and your limited capabilities. Silly Koopa and you're murdering my face. And I have no idea if this is an actual Mario level. It doesn't look particularly familiar. It looks vaguely familiar, but... I think that's just because it's done in the style of the original Super Mario Brothers. Which I've never beaten that one either, by the way. I never did beat any of the NES ones, because I just didn't really care that much. I wasn't the best at them. I'm, as obviously, I'm not the best at this either. But, you know, the game takes, like, must be an hour or two if you're going to play the whole thing and be terrible like I am at it. Stupid auto save stains aren't helping very much, are they? What was I just saying? Oh well, let's kill Boom Boom. There we go. Boom Boom is very binary. I either completely kill him without any trouble, or I die horribly like 20 times in a row. And when I stop dying, I always beat him like super easily. And yeah, hello Cheap Cheeps. I don't like you. I don't think anybody likes you, Cheap Cheeps. You should just go away. Oh, great. I picked the exact right moment to save, didn't I? Oh, hello, Cheap Cheep. What's going on? Whoa. Yeah, you just, you just know the perfect time to pop up, don't you, Cheap Cheep? Yes, you do. Half of my auto saves are saved on me dying. Blind jump ahoy. Wait, do I have to do a frickin' fish jump? Maybe I could do a run jump. I should get a regular save state so I don't have to keep auto loading. Oh, I have a feather thingy. No, I don't. Never mind. I don't. But I do have a run thingy. Or something. I have victory. Very, very shallow, cheating-filled victory. But I don't care. Because it looks like this level is almost done. Maybe. Hopefully. You know what? Screw you, Cheap Cheap. Just wanted to kill one of you. And another one. Oh. Yep. Figures. There we go. Yeah, there is no way I would be playing this game without save states. I'm sorry. And why is every level... Like, two levels in this world? Oh, and I have items, don't I? I should be using those. Keep forgetting that I have, like, 20 frickin' items that I never use. It's probably why I was never very good in the original game, because I do that when I play 
SMB3 too. Wait. There we go. I need to use the save state button. If I'm gonna cheat, I should at least do it right, but... Whatever. Is there a way to cheat right? That's a... I'm not sure if that's an ethical question or something, but... I actually don't really care. Oh, hello, cheap cheap. You guys are very annoying. Hey, Koopa. Kill some cheap cheeps for me. No more cheap cheeps. Oh. Please let this be the end. Is there a mini boss? Oh! I forgot you jerks do that. You don't do that in Super Mario World. Oh. I was just about to say, hey, this one's relatively easy. And then he jumps into me. Do they do that often? I don't remember that happening very much. Whatever. Give me back it. The autosave loves to save right where I'm dying. It does not like me. Oh, great. I just don't have the timing right for this game. And a lot of being good at a game really is timing. I'm just gonna take this. Oh, figures. Can I beat? Nope. Oh well. Maybe? Nope. Fine, I'll beat you normally. Wait, no. Give me back to that. I really don't like how the saves work in this, but... I haven't programmed a better emulator, so... I don't complain too much. Speaking of better emulator, I'm not sure what that... If you look in the bottom left, there's that flickering bar. I'm not sure if that's the emulator or the ROM or what is causing that exactly. Or maybe it's my settings or something, but... I just notice it every once in a while and it's kind of annoying. And stupid save states. Yeah, I always hated you too. Friggin... All Hammer Brothers. Whoa! I did not think I would be landing on these, but I guess you do, figures. I don't like you either, Mr. Sledge Brother. It must seem that I ha like I hate everything in this game, but it's really not everything, it's just the hard, like, this game just uses pretty much everything that was the hardest part of are the hardest parts of the original game, and those are just in every level. There we go. Like these Hammer Brothers, these guys are pretty rare. And when you found them on the map, they're usually two, not 20,000 of them in one level. And you guys were like, there was one of you. There was one encounter of you. And I think that was it. And now you're everywhere. Well, at least with every hammer brother. And we got a leaf. Now I'm gonna use an item, because I finally thought about doing that. Oh yeah, we should do the flute, because it does something different in every world, it seems. Question mark. Is this like a lottery type thing? Yep, looks like it. Ooh, shoo. I wonder if the Tanuki suit and stuff is still in this game. I bet it's probably just... I bet he probably replaced those with... his own items. Because that hat seems to be the Tanuki suit. It just doesn't work very well. And that wand acts like the... Oh great. It sort of acts like the Hammer Bro suit, I think. Well, goodbye, Leaf. Oh, great. I take too many blind jumps. Hey, wait. What? P-switch? No, fire flower. Is this another puzzle level? 
Come here, Koopa. Or do I just have to do a big run jump or something? Wait, did I need those things as platforms? I probably did. I just bet I did. Um, maybe I can do a run jump off that. This isn't working very well, but maybe I can? Maybe I can't. That's not what I wanted to do. But thinking is... Nope, won't work. Kill me. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll end this video here on a high note of fail.